Hey guys, it's Kim Dye here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So today's a Saturday and since it's the weekend, I decided to go out and have some fun. So, oh, something in my eye. Okay, so first off, I'm going to go to Shinjuku and I'm going to go to a pen shop because I don't know why, but recently I've really been into um, like videos on YouTube about bullet journals. There's this is one user that I've been obsessed with. Oh, her channel is Amanda Rach Lee and, and I don't know, I think it's a good hobby to pick up because I feel that I need something new in my life. Everything, um, I feel recently everything's just been the same. Like I um, go to work or I edit videos and I travel and I just want something new. Maybe at the end of the month or at the start of the month I can show you guys how I decorate my journal. To be honest, I'm super bad at drawing. I can't really draw, but if it's like simple stuff, maybe I can do it. So I'm going to take a lot of inspiration from her channel and yeah, just try and organize my life a bit because that's what I feel I need. I really need to organize my life better because I feel that I'm so bad at organization. And because of that, I get stressed out a lot more. And there's a lot of times where I double book things by accident and you know, it's just pretty bad so I want to change that I want to be more organized so that's why I thought maybe I can get into this bullet journal stuff because I feel that maybe it would help me be more organized in the future anyway so I know there is a big pen shop in Shinjuku so I'm gonna head there and then I might go to the Ikebukuro Pokemon Center because um, the Easter collection is being released today and there's a few things I want to pick up from there and then at night time I'm thinking about getting dinner somewhere so I'm not sure where but I might message a few friends and see if they're free to hang out so maybe I might see a friend for dinner and then go back home early and then finish off some more videos so let's try and be productive today even though it's already two o'clock so I'm gonna head out now all right change of plan so we're gonna go to Ikebukuro first because I'm actually going out with another friend and they said they can hang out but then they've got a date later at night time around Shinjuku so I thought it'd be easier if we go to Ikebukuro first because there's a lot more things I want to do in Shinjuku because I haven't been there at all this trip well I haven't been to Ikebukuro either but there's not too much to do in Ikebukuro besides the Pokemon Center and it's more convenient because then they can go on their date and then I can go and just hang out alone and shop alone so that would be really good because I need some time to walk around by myself I'm heading to Sunshine City now where the Pokemon Center is I just got off at Higashi Ikebukuro and it's closer than Ikebukuro station so my plan is I want to go to the Pokemon Center then I might go to Toki Hands and Loft and then maybe the anime store to see if I can find like cute Pokemon diaries. I have not gone to Sunshine City in a very long time and there's new stores here now. It's like a kitty land here. Snoopy store. There's a long line at the Pokemon Center. It is so cute. got the Ultra Beast plushies. This one's my favorite Ultra Beast. We want this so bad, but Eric would not like this in our apartment. I really want a book like this, but I want it with no lines inside so I can use it as a bullet journal. This is so freaking cute, but I feel like the material would um, get damaged very easily. They got wallets. <laughs> Pikachu wallets. I like how someone did that. That's pretty funny. I love these. I bought this last time when I was in Japan. So it's like these little sheets that you put into coffee. I'm not sure if this is cute. It kind of looks creepy in a way. It's like Pikachu's possessed. So I decided to buy a bunch of stuff here, blowing my money. But it's okay. I don't think I'll be back in Japan for like a while. I really like this. It's so cute. I'm just gonna try and get one. Oh my gosh, this is so like mochi mochi. Guys, I bought this last time and it worked once and then it stopped working after that. Sailor Moon stuff has gone on sale. I used to have this and then it went rusty. Oh, the Pokemon stuff is on sale. Look, guys. So, this is a Pokemon lip balm. Then you've got the eyeshadows. Nail polishes. The amount of people here waiting for this gym, it's crazy. Head on cream soda, water. 
but you know, I'm just gonna get normal water and spicy chicken in Family Mart. Okay, got spicy chicken and water. We're gonna go to our next raid and then I'm gonna eat that there. Sakura. And animate, they got little snow globes. That's cool. I actually really like these ones as well. Look at all these shippers. Done in Ikebukuro now. We're gonna head to Shinjuku and then I want to go to the pen shops there and stationery stores. And then I might get some food and go home from there. Say Kaido. Trying to f trying to find a book right now that's plain so I found this one and I don't really care what's on the outside because I want to buy a case for it a cover for it so maybe I might get this one because it's only 242 yen lots of colored pencils here kind of like these ones yeah they got the sets here oh yeah it's actually not too bad 2,592 yen for 12 and then you can get your more neutral colors here i don't think i'll use these colors much but i think i would use these ones more so i'm thinking i might get this set change of mind i tried out these ones and i like these better oh well this has 48 colors in here this is like all you'll need so many pen choices but so far my favorites were this one here these watercolor markers might change my mind if i find anything else i like this one was very tempting because there's so many more colors, but I didn't like how the pens felt when I used them. Okay, I realized that I really like these ones because they have the dual. They've got a thicker end and a thinner end. In your mind, instead of going for a set, I decided to pick them individually because I really like these Tombow ones. And they don't come in sets, unfortunately. So I got about 21 colors, so let's go out. So many art brushes. I bought a bunch of stationery stuff. I'm gonna go to Muji now. Right there, and then I'm gonna see if I can find some more stationery there. I love wooden bowls. But actually, I bought some wooden plates and bowls from Nitori uh, last time I came to Japan in January, and then some of them went moldy, so maybe I'll stay away from them for now. So I was looking for some smaller thin pens, and these ones are great. They're only 80 yen each, which is like 80 cents. I'm gonna pick up a few of these. They also have markers that are actually really good, but because I've already bought a bunch of them, I'm not going to get any more. This sounds delicious, so I'm going to try this out. Okay, so I bought a bunch of stuff in Muji, I'll show you guys later. Now I'm going to go to Big Camera and buy my sister a 3DS screen protector that she needs, just over there across the road. Alright, so my sister asked me to buy her the Hori screen protector for the 3DS XL or LL, which is the same thing. And this is like one of the best brands. They unfortunately only have one left though, so I just got this one for her. For me, I'm just going to go with this one because I need one for mine as well. That's enough shopping for today. I'm going to go back now and I'm going to grab some dinner. I actually feel like Caesarea, so I'm going to go to Caesarea near my place. There's one more place I want to go to before I go back home. So I want to go to Flying Tiger because I want to buy some birthday decorations. It's actually Eric's birthday just after I come back and I really want to make a surprise birthday party for him. So I'm going to buy some decorations. I think these paper pads look really cool. Get a bunch of these, and these would look so cute. Let's grab a few of these. Ah, perfect. Want to say happy birthday? I just noticed these. This is probably better. Maybe I'll just get that set instead. I think I might get a pink and a blue one because we've got girls and guys coming over. I can use pink and blue happy birthday signs and put them around the apartment. I think I've done enough shopping for a day. My bag is full of stuff. I'm gonna go to Sizeria near my place. Let's go back on. I'm in Sizeria now. I might just order the usuals. Um, my chorizo. Parcel gratin. Let's order. So when you go to Zaria, you can order by pressing this. My chorizos are here and I always like to put these chili flakes on because they're so delicious. My gratin is here and so is my garlic toast. I am back and I bought so much stuff today. I didn't really expect to buy that much stuff because I kind of expected to just go to the Pokemon Center and buy some stationery and that's it. But I ended up buying a lot more. So let me show you guys what I got. I went to Flying Tiger last but I'm going to show you guys these first. Anyway, I got two of these um, happy birthday sets. So it just comes with plates, um, cups, also oh party crowns, masks, 
drawers, serviettes, and the happy birthday banner. I got them in pink and blue. Now, the thing is, it's Eric's birthday um, a few days after I come back from Japan. And so by the time this video is out, it would be like past his birthday anyway, so that's fine. Also, he doesn't watch my video, so that's okay. But since it's his birthday, I decided to do a surprise party for him. I just made a group chat with about 15 people and I invited them over to our apartment uh, on Eric's birthday. I asked one of my friends if they can take Eric and distract him for like I don't know, a couple of hours whilst I prepare so I was thinking about cooking but the thing is um, I'll need a lot more time to cook for 15 people plus I think if I bought back a lot of ingredients it'll be very obvious that I'm cooking for a lot of people so I think I might buy a bunch of takeaway food and stuff like that I asked Eric if he wanted to do anything for his birthday and he was like oh maybe not maybe just do a quiet one of you so that's good because he has no plans in mind that means I can plan this surprise party and usually Eric and I don't really celebrate our birthdays just because we don't really care that much like I feel that the older you get the less you care about your birthday but for me because I've been missing Eric's birthday for the last uh, two or three years I really want to do something really nice for him so yeah it's gonna be very exciting um, that's why I bought these for the birthday party then I went to Big Camera and then I got these two screen protectors so this one's for my sister the better one this one was 1500 yen and then this is mine um, this one was a bit cheaper and I don't have a screen protector on my DS yet so I decided to get that all right I then went to a massive stationery store in uh, Shinjuku called Sekaido so if you guys ever want any Japanese stationery uh, pens art brushes paint this is the place to go guys I've never actually been in there before because I've never been interested in stationery until recently like I said this morning I was obsessed with all these bullet journal videos so I bought like 20 different colors I'm very excited to start bullet journaling um, I'm not going to show you guys all of these because I might do that in another video so actually I am a really terrible uh, drawer like I, I can't draw but I feel like with bullet journaling like if it's just simple stuff like drawing hearts and little flowers and stuff I can do anyway I got this notebook and this is just a plain notebook it was actually really hard to find a plain notebook because a lot of them had lines in them and I didn't want ones with lines, I just wanted a normal plain one. Yesterday I went to the Pokemon Cafe and I found this really cute Pokemon uh, cover for your book or diary. So I think I'm going to get that but I can't remember the size so I bought this and I don't know if it's going to fit in there. I feel like this is quite big but I went to Muji right here and then I bought another book now it is smaller than this but the thing is that it's so thick so I feel that if this doesn't fit I'll use this but I might have to like take out a few pages which should be possible so hopefully one of these fits if they don't then I might go and buy another one somewhere but these ones won't go to waste because I do need some more notebooks now when I plan out videos for my channel I find it easiest if I just write down all my ideas in a book because I started writing them in my notepad on my phone and whenever I do that I feel that I have I don't know like 20 different notes and I end up like writing the same thing in different notepads and it's very confusing also at Muji I got some pens and these were so cheap these were like 80 yen each which was less than a dollar these ones are just normal gel pens I thought that I could use to decorate my bullet journal with I got this uh, matcha chocolate coated strawberry and I'm gonna open it up now to eat oh it's hard mmm this is really good but really damn hard to buy. Last place I went to was the Pokemon Center. Now, I really wanted to go today because of the new Easter collection. Last year for Easter, I was in Japan and for the Easter collection, I ended up buying the makeup bag and the hair scrunchie. I remember that they did have the uh, Pikachu plush with the flower uh, headband and I didn't get it because I don't know why. I think it's because I was collecting the monthly Pikachus beforehand and I just didn't want to buy more Pikachus but anyway this year they released another Pikachu with uh, the flower headband and I don't know if this is the same as last year's one it's very similar but I decided to get it because it is so freaking adorable like I love the pastel colors and also the material it's so freaking soft that's why I loved it so much I picked it up and I was like I need to get it so prior to today I was 
thinking about buying this because I saw the picture and I was like, oh, that's really cute. But I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to buy it or not just because I was like, oh, you know, I have to spend more money and stuff like that. But when I saw it in person, I was like, I have to have it because it's so soft, so fluffy, so cute. So then I ended up buying it. I also got two of the keychains. Now this one is exactly the same as the big one. But I feel that I could use this on a bag. Because it's got this keychain on it. And then I also got the EV version. I then got this towel. And I'm going to use this as a face towel um, in my bathroom most likely. Last item is this Pokemon Deco Latte. I bought these last year. I really like them. I think they are so adorable. They're just little discs that you put onto your coffee and then it just kind of like blends out and it makes it look like you did the latte art even though you didn't also yesterday when i went to the pokemon cafe i'm going to show you guys i got this um cup now i'm a little bit disappointed with this to be honest because in the picture it had a straw in it so i thought it would come with a um plastic straw or a reusable straw it didn't come with one so i've been trying to find a straw that i can used with this but haven't been able to find one yet maybe i'll find one tomorrow if not it's not really a big deal because i can still use it as a cup anyway that's all the stuff i bought that was a massive haul i don't think i'm going to buy any more things in japan just because i think my suitcase would be filling up because i bought quite a lot of clothes to japan this time anyway guys i think i'm going to end this vlog here because i'm getting sleepy i need to pack my bags um i need to clean up and then tomorrow i am going out uh to yoyogi park because there's going to be a pokemon event from 12 to 3 p.m so there's shiny bulbasaur so i'm gonna go catch um bulbasaur tomorrow and then after that i'm just gonna chill around harajuku maybe and then probably go home early because on monday i'm going to go out with people from tokyo creative and we are going to be filming the whole entire day so sakura is coming out so we're going to be filming a lookbook which i'm very excited for i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this massive haul and i'll see you next time bye guys